Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. It's so nice and sunny out here. I had to come outside and be in the sunshine so my face can get some vitamin D. It's a little bit cooler than what I expected, a little more wind, so I had to go put my coat on. But I'm outside enjoying the day. I hope you can be outside to enjoy part of the day, too. We are here to talk about wintergreen oil today. And there it is. Hey, Nathan, thank you for joining me. Wintergreen oil. You'll notice it has a cap on it like deep blue. And you'll also notice that it does not have a supplement box. That means this one is not for internal use. <clears throat> but we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So, Wintergreen retails for $29.33, wholesales for $22. So that gives you um, $7 off with your membership. My pages are blowing all over the place. Um, and it's the 15 milliliter bottle, so that's a big, the big size, approximately 250 drops. The main constituent of this is methyl salicylate. And fun fact that I learned, methyl salicylate is commonly created synthetically. So anything that has that you buy food-wise that has wintergreen oil, it's going to be a synthetic because um, this is kind of difficult to obtain the pure natural oil. And so naturally occurring methyl salicylate can only be found in birch and wintergreen. So I didn't know that before. Um, it's actually from the Heather family. doTERRA's wintergreen is sourced in Nepal and it is part of their co-impact sourcing initiative that they do. Wintergreen safety information. So, as I said, it's not to be taken internally, but you can use it topically and you can use it aromatically. Many people have a sensitivity to methyl salicylate, so it is strongly recommended that you perform a skin patch test first before you use this topically. You should do that anyway with any new oil that you try just to be safe because you don't know what your sensitivities are. So how you do a skin patch test is you put a few drops of, a, of carrier oil on your arm on the inside close to your elbow and then one or two drops of the essential oil and you wait and you pay attention to your body while you're waiting. Um, usually within 10 minutes, you're going to feel or notice a change if you have a sensitivity, and that would be anything from tenderness and swelling, redness, irritation, a rash, to maybe even maybe having you get a headache, or if you're extremely sensitive, difficulty breathing, or even stomach upset. So if any of that happens, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take more carrier oil and you're just going to keep applying carrier oil to wipe it off. Apply and wipe, apply and wipe, apply and wipe, if you have a reaction. Hopefully you won't have a reaction to it. <clears throat> but if you do, that's the procedure to take. So this oil, I. I just got mine. You'll notice it's right there at the top. I haven't had it very long. And all I have done with it is I think I diffused it once in a mix of minty things, and that was really nice. And I have used it when I have had um, deep muscle and joint aches because sometimes the deep blue doesn't get all the way down to where it needs to be. And what I was doing was I was putting this on first and then putting the deep blue on. And I found out that that intuition was absolutely correct because wintergreen is, <coughs> excuse me, just got a cough. Wintergreen is an enhancer. 
so when it is applied on your skin and then you apply another oil it's actually going to enhance the action of the secondary oil so some things that you can use wintergreen for it it is an analgesic a pain reliever an anti-inflammatory an anti-rheumatic an antiseptic an antispasmodic a disinfectant a diuretic a stimulant to the bones and it's warming to the skin so historically um, wintergreen has been used by natives and um, for tea however that's not recommended these days because it's generally not regarded as safe to take internally but as I said before it's been used as a flavoring agent in anything from chewing gum to toothpaste to root beer so it's a pretty good bet that those are synthetic flavors that are added um, let me switch to the other book now so some top ways to use wintergreen <coughs> for gout and rheumatism you're going to apply topically to the affected area for soothing the discomfort you can apply it topically to your teeth for whitening your teeth you just don't want to swallow it for warming and increasing circulation to the extremities like people that have Renaud's syndrome you could use this topically to help increase the circulation to your fingers and warm your skin tissues so you're going to dilute it and apply to the affected areas for arthritis and joint pain you're going to apply to the affected areas for neuralgia and cramps you're going to dilute and apply to relieve the cramps and the pains for bone spurs and pain associated with that hey Annette thank you for joining me you're going to dilute and apply to the affected area if you have injury to cartilage and associated bruising wintergreen is going to be what you're going to want to use for that and you're going to again dilute and apply to the affected area this oil is the go-to for a lot of people that have shoulder, frozen shoulder, rotator cuff, anything associated with shoulder. It has been found very beneficial for that. So you're going to dilute and apply to the affected area to ease pain and inflammation. Methyl salicylate is the active ingredient in many dandruff shampoos. So if you're sensitive to synthetics I would suggest trying this instead add a drop or two to your natural shampoo like your doTERRA shampoo and this is going to help with the dandruff for dermatitis you're going to dilute and apply to the affected areas to reduce irritation this can be used for bladder infections and kidney stones you're going to dilute and apply over the abdomen and then follow that with a hot compress to help push it into the tissues and then emotionally emotionally when you're diffusing this oil it is going to help you move from feeling stubborn to feeling accepted I was reading about the emotional impacts of this this morning and it really just struck me spiritually in my own spiritual walk in my own spiritual life there have been times when I knew what the Lord's will was and I was resistant to that so if that situation occurs again I can use this oil to help me accept the Lord's will because I got to a point where the only thing that I could do was pray Lord help me to want to want your will because I don't want your will so this oil can help 
in that regard too. So I hope that gives you some ideas about wintergreen and whether or not it would be beneficial for you. And I'll see y'all next week for the next oil. Y'all have a great day and a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.